somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back that's the answer this is the appleton oak i'm mason quinn guys tonight we are going to keep the trilogy going with a divergent series tonight we're taking a look at 2015's insurgent now the first one started off we were having some fun with it and having some laughs but it got super serious at the end and i think we we're all pretty invested in it uh by the time the credits rolled so can't wait to see where this one goes as you saw at the end there, they were going out beyond the wall. They had no idea what's on the horizon. So now I am definitely ready, willing, and able to find out what they're going to see outside the wall. Well, you know, I really enjoyed the first movie. I thought it was, um, it was similar to some of the other, um, uh, you know, series that we watched, uh, of course, the Hunger Games and, and Maze Runner, but definitely unique in the... And the plot, the storylines, and, and things of that nature. And I think they did a good job of kind of sticking in that genre-ish, but having a unique story. <laughs> and I really loved the, like, security versus freedom yeah. discussion that went on. And uh, I thought it was a really solid start to the series. Now, I know some people said the second and third one aren't as good, but we heard that with some of the previous yeah. series that we've watched, um, where as far as I was concerned, the uh, the sequels held up pretty pretty good with the original. So I'm excited to watch this one out there. Yeah, so remember the 444.15, we'll see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's go. is indeed attainable. We've created a society in which each faction plays a critical role in maintaining the social order. This harmony we've achieved is now under attack. An extremely dangerous group of individuals. Oh, oh there's us. Courtney. Yeah. Jai himself. Oh, so is this pretty much the worst kicking of off what right humanity after? used to be? Uncontrollable. Yep. yep, it's exactly what they want. <laughs> Brutally. So now they're saying that it was oh. that Yeah, so we've probably jumped forward here a little bit. Tell Janine we got it. Oh, oh man. man. Just, just torch the place. May protect us from peace is not merely an ideal, it is an obligation. Is that yeah, a new skyscraper? I think it is. That's probably where she lives. I don't recall that skyscraper uh, being in the previous one. Drop a comment below yeah. if we just missed it. You know, they did such a great job with casting in here with making you really hate the villains. Oh, we need to make sure it's clear. Please. Oh, they won't help him. Please help us. You have to help us. I'm sorry. You just don't belong here. You killed Will. Oh, she's seeing that all over again. Oh. Got you with the dream yeah. sequence. I mean, bear in mind that all happened in a matter of hours. Yep. You know, all those events. Okay, so this is definitely a civilization. Uh, we did yeah. see in the poster that yeah. she had a shorter haircut. Yep. Is this. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. She can uh, do the old Shane Walsh. Well, the first movie started off yeah, with yeah, her mom, her mom her cutting hair. her hair. You're trying to blend in with them, it looks like. <laughs> Higher. That's pretty cool, the old overpass. Yeah. I just wanted to do something different. Yeah. But he's not saying he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is different. <laughs> It's definitely different. She did a real, real good, good job, job of yeah. layering it and everything. Yeah, no considering what she had to work with. I like it a lot. You know, just once. There you go. She, there, she likes she it liked. a lot. Oh, you don't want to be in a doghouse right away at the beginning of the movie. We're good. You and me. How much longer do we have to stay here for? Until we know it's safe to leave. Where else are you going to go? Where's Miles? Because you know he's not having fun doing yeah, this. Yeah, he ain't enjoying this. You'd think they would, they would have gone out looking for them in these surrounding communities. Yeah. You can't ignore me forever. So. I know you're thinking about your next move, but there are things you don't know. 
whatever you want from us, you're not going to get it. Oh, yeah, it's a it's Bluetooth got all speaker. The, all the marks on it. <laughs> please, had a Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> it plays music directly <laughs> from your damnest, home. It's a damn thing. You don't need a record player. All of the my music is in that. Only a divergent can open this box. Find them. Every last one of them. Okay, so there wasn't really a time jump if her hand is still wrapped. No, up. yeah, no, right I didn't think it was. Be. Yeah, I mean, they're no, pretty right away in. when they did when they showed the rubble of the of uh, their society, yeah, I knew it was picking right up where, like literally yeah, right, right off. Yeah, go with happiness. Thank you. <laughs> I really don't know how much longer I can do this whole peace and love thing. Friendliness with unquestioned pacifism. I love this place. Thank you. Go with happiness. <laughs> 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 Trish, I really like your hair, by the way. Did you try to cut it all short and weird? Like Peter. That? <laughs> Besides, I think we should all stick together now that we're all officially fugitives. So they're, they're blaming this whole thing on us. Yeah. Jenny, you needed a reason to petition the council to institute martial law. Ah. Now she had one. Oh, that's who she thought was going to. Mm -hmm. she, she was really good on Smartless. Octavia was. You need to keep an ear to the ground, find out where the rest of the Dauntless are. We need to kill Janine. Oh, wow, that, that jumped up. You know, peace and love. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> peace and love here, guys. Hello. Right away, too. Go he's like, happiness. I know. Go with happiness. We got to kill Janine. I'm not going to stop until she's dead. Trace, I think you should go to Erudite and kill Janine yourself. I'll stay with Caleb so that you don't get him killed, too. Like you did your parents. Oh, he's oh, not saying that, I don't think. No, this has got to be... <laughs> She's going to get kicked right out of Amity. What do you think you're doing? Was I not <laughs> clear that the terms of your sanctuary here included nonviolence? You can no longer stay here with us. Your presence is just too disruptive. <clears throat> nice going, both of you. Mm -hmm. Truth is that our sanctuary was never going to last very long here anyways. That you think you can stay out of this, but you can't. And Janine is going to take whatever power you think you have away from Trish, you. Trish, we need a little more time. One more chance. See, to be Amity is to forgive others and yourself. Oh, gosh. Mm. She means something. I mean, she went through a hell of a lot of trauma. But killing Janine is not going to bring your mother back. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, they drove right. Nice work. They don't even know if they're there or not. And they yeah, just drove right them. over their walls. And probably through their crops. Like, why would they do that? Intimidation factor. Yeah, let them know who's boss. So you know someone will talk. Real hard to uh, intimidate a bunch of pacifists. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> this isn't really a social call, Joanna. We're looking for divergence. I'm going to need you to volunteer your faction to be tested. We're screening oh. technology from Erudite. The easy way. Or the hard way. So any divergent living with them is now going to be sc scanned and just yeah, they're gonna they're gonna scan everybody to see if there's any divergence because they she wants to open that uh, Bluetooth speaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know something, lady? You seem awfully stuck in that doorway. All right. Okay, it's got a secret door or something. We need to move now. Come on. What's up there? Just my office. It's not going to like them. Oh, I thought they'd show the horse being, you know. We're going out the window? We need to split up. Hey, they're up here! Hey! Go, go, go. Hey! What the f What was that? Yeah, every man yeah. for himself. He thinks he can get his way back in, maybe. That's exactly what he thinks. Mm -hmm. I demand amnesty. Oh. oh, look at that. New yeah. plan didn't help you out that much, Miles. Well, he had it. Oh, Peter. Yeah. Now let's run on the road. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Those are heavy rigs, yeah. and they might look 
uh, very intimidating, but they're going to have limited off-road capabilities when it comes to the woods. <laughs> You're not going to be able to fit through the trees. What, does that guy run like a robot? <laughs> he, he's, he's running like the T-1000. Yeah. <laughs> have you seen this boy? Look at how smoothly he runs. Uh, go, 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 go! Oh, he's taking them all left and right. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, looking like Vin Diesel and like he, uh, he Paul Walker. He couldn't, like, run in front, <laughs> like, angle it? No, he had to run. Oh, <laughs> 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 what was that? That was do? out of anger. <laughs> Where it's headed back towards the city, though. Yeah. Yeah, but they could get off at some point. Uh oh. Ooh, losing the good stuff. Grains and wine. Oh, you folks sure know how to make an exit. Just need to get to the city. That's all. Well, too bad. Train's taken. You get off your train, all right? Guys, you will just everybody just relax, okay? Why don't we uh take a seat? Oh. 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 That dude's not as intimidating as he thinks he is. Yeah, no to, kidding. to our heroes here. Jeez. What's Caleb doing? Go for the soft tissue. Now remember, they're divergence, so they've had extensive fight training. Yeah. Oh, oh, that ain't good. Oh. 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 oh, did they just? They did, I think. Ooh, oh, look at the old bicycle kick. Oh, that a boy kill. Oh. He's not even swinging that properly. Not really. He just kind of. Ah. <laughs> Whatever works. Yeah. Well, they cleared that whole train. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. This friggin' guy. Where's four? He'll take him out in like three seconds. Dude, it's your sister. Get over there. What are you doing? His own sister and he can't get it together? Yeah, you ain't no match for four. Tobias Eaton. Did you say that again? Tobias Eaton. Well, you know him? He is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have been looking for you. You just offed like four of our yeah. people, but uh, but hail our new leader. <laughs> <laughs> this one over here is missing an arm. Yeah. I don't know if it's all the way gone or it just got snapped. Oh, so they're throwing all the product off to the side, yeah. Okay, so they rob the train, they toss yeah. the product. Take the supplies. Okay, I got it. How do they know your name? It's kind of neat how they have their rooms and stuff. There are. Who's this going to be? Who's the big wheel going to be? Tobias. Mom? Is that what he's going to say? Mother. Oh! Of course it is. Dude, what? Clean yourself up. You're meeting mother-in-law. <laughs> Hi, Mom. So, uh, dinner? Yep. <laughs> so, Mom, uh, we've been seeing each other. What's going on here? Tobias's father was very abusive. I knew the only way I could ever truly escape him would be to disappear completely. I felt it was finally time to reconnect. <laughs> I'm still your mother. No, my mother's dead. I went to her funeral when I was six. She left her oh. child with the abusive husband, though? Trying to use me. She wants an army. I want an alliance. No, what you want is revenge. This city may be surrounded by a wall, but it doesn't have to be a prison. Are you willing to kill Janine? Absolutely. <laughs> well, then oh, we know oh, she's in. Oh, yeah. yeah. Real hard sell here. We can't trust her. We're on the same side, Triss. Once you've killed Janine, who's in power then? See, that's the part. 
They always do. Don't they they? Always, every movie and everything is like we got to take them out. And then what? Thank you for your hospitality. Tobias, please reconsider. Don't you call me that? My name's Four. He's got a point, man. The mom just bailed and left him with the husband that was wailing <laughs> on him all the time. He just stormed on. He's one. He, yeah, I was just gonna say he just stormed up to go to his room. <laughs> this meal looks lovely. Thank you. <laughs> He's just gonna sit and eat. That would be me. <laughs> I'd be like taking the other plates. <laughs> yeah, I don't it's been a while. It's been a while since I ate. <laughs> Last time I tried eating, two people got in a fight and knocked a plate on the ground. I should have told you better. No more secrets. <laughs> Oh, I was just gonna. That's not Whoa. creepy at all. I just thought she was the gonna, just was just gonna sit at the end of the geez. bed and watch you sleep. I mean, you hardly even know him, but deep down, I think you're scared. I know it all too well. You're scared he'll finally see you for what you really are. Ask him. Oh, they sure are giving us a lot of dream sequences here. Yeah. They are. They're trying to trying to keep tricking us into what's real and what's not. Just like how she was when she knew she was in a simulation or not. I'm not coming with you guys. What? Well, I mean, he's hardly prepared for something hey, like that. This guy's not built for this world. You guys are going to find the rest of the dolls, then what? No, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just start. not. I'm not cut out for that. Coop, there's nothing left to do on vacation. He's watch. He's gonna go back, and they're gonna hold him captive. Yeah, you just he was, watch. I said bait. I mean, I get if he doesn't want to make the run on this yeah, mission, but he, he could go someplace else. I would think and just lay low for. He, he saw that he froze, and yeah, he's not built. He knows for that it. he could ruin it. He can't protect anyone. Nobody can. Are they just walking around in public, like? Don't you think their faces would be plastered all over? Well, I thought since they were using those TV screens, they would have their faces. <laughs> Something must have happened to him. He would have found me by now, you know? Yeah, but I uh, shot him. Uh... Hey. Why are you holding up? Hold it! Grab your guns! We're not a threat to candor. That might be your truth. It's not necessarily mine. Unfortunately, given the circumstances, I'm obliged to hand you over to the council. Can I ask you one question? <clears throat> Janine believes that Ariadne are most fit to govern because they are the smartest. Do you believe that candor is most fit to judge because you're so honest? I admit, I do hold that belief. In my opinion, a candor trial would have the greatest chance of achieving true justice. Part of candor is initiation. You administer a truth serum, correct? We don't typically discuss such matters out of faction. It's a pretty evasive answer. Evasion is not dishonesty. <laughs> it's not exactly honest. Evasion yeah. is not dishonesty? Well, Sounds like some politician. There we go. Thought. Now he said it. Yes. Yep. If we're guilty, we'll surrender to the council. If not, you've just saved two lives. Not everyone finds it so easy to share their secrets. Well, no secrets It's going to be anymore. like a uh, chunk in, uh, yeah, in the Goonies. <laughs> that one time Cause, yeah, in cause, fourth grade. Right? <laughs> Christina just came by like eyeing her up, yeah. so I think she she's gonna find out. She's gonna she find out what happened to Will. Yep. Oh, dude. Yep. Uh -huh. She's gonna find out she got. Oh no. That she, that she took care of Will. And she knows it too. Yeah. You were accused of conspiring with your fellow Dauntless in the attack on abnegation. Conspiring, no. I was in a simulation controlled by Janine and the rest of the Dauntless that she recruited. So you're saying that Janine orchestrated this attack? Yes. If you suspected that Janine had corrupted Dauntless, why didn't you just leave? But I fell in love with Tris Pryor, and I couldn't leave her. That's what love will do to you. I was just hoping he'd be like, you know what, I, I don't see it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your candor. Watch, they're going to give us a close-up of Christina here any second. Oh, Jesus! Ah, again with like the six-foot needles. That almost went all the way through her neck. And the truth is yeah. I'll set, set you, you free. So you were never under the simulation yourself? No, because I'm divergent. So you never harmed any of your fellow Dauntless or the abnegation? I did. Who? My mom and then my dad. They were killed trying to save me. 
He was trying to shoot me. Okay, well, at least she said he was trying to shoot <laughs> he her. He shot him first. <laughs> well. <laughs> However, he was going to shoot me first. Yep. The people, when they get close to me, <laughs> they get hurt, but they die. I can't forgive myself. Thank you for your candor. You gonna forgive her? Christina. Yeah. She just said... Okay, this isn't fair at all. No. You guys were under simulation. She was going to... What was she supposed to do? Well, the thing is that she heard that she broke the sim on... Yeah, and for what are they doing? Oh, they're trying to get him to open it. You'll stop when I say so. <laughs> what a villain. Oh! oh. No. She did not pass... The sim. Oh. Urgent test subject six is no longer viable. Six? six. Yeah, because she said she wanted all of them. Yeah, and they have to go through and try to pass every test to get it open. All divergence are the same. We need to look harder. We need to find that very special one. Oh, yeah, that she still has her hand bandaged up. Mm -hmm. Mind if I join you? Sometimes I think I see lights out beyond the wall. We can't be the only ones left. Oh boy. Uh oh, you all better bail and real fast. Oh, that's sweet. I like that we finally got a little uh, information about the wasteland out there. Oh, that kid's. Oh, oh no. They're only coming to get one person. Mm hmm. Yeah, but they can't take her out. They no. want to run that test on her, don't yeah. they? Yeah, that's what I thought. Maybe they're using... Oh! Oh. Yeah, those look like live rounds to me. Jesus. Whoa. Oh, did she just it's take one of the shoulder? Is this another dream sequence? What, they didn't... They're just what walking the right by her? What the hell was this? Oh, what is oh, that? Like a tracker, maybe? I think I made everybody close. Okay, I need you to do me a favor. Oh, she must be a divergent too, because it didn't work on her, the little girl. Oh, I see. But if they were looking for a divergence, don't you think they would have something that <sighs> you, you would think? Why are we the only ones awake? It's for divergence. Yep. <laughs> the crew decided to uh, it just keeps popping up. Just a little routine inspection. Divergence. 10%. Hmm. That's boring. Oh, jeez. Let's just wrap this up quickly. The others are going to be awake soon. Hi, sweetie. I should not. 40%. I'm afraid it's not you either. <laughs> Divergence. 100. Whoa, oh, 100? Get her in a vehicle. I'll alert your name. If you think you got lucky, you're wrong. Oh, you're gonna wish I killed you. Right there! Oh, well, look at this. Well, 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 how the turntables. Oh, did he just break his arm? I think he did. What does she want with her? She's the perfect subject. You're responsible for the death of hundreds of people. I found a way to live with the blood on my hands. And can you? Oh, he might know his deepest fears. Remember? Yeah, Get him yeah. in the toe. The big toe. Oh, he looked right at him, too. What? Didn't have to look away on that one. What? Well, all he needed was a little motivation, I guess. What? Well, nice having you around, Jai. What? I did not see that coming. I didn't think we were going to lose the best villain of, uh, well, second best villain Nobody's... of the movie. Oh, man. Thank you for helping us. I wish I could do more. It's time we fight back. We don't have the numbers. We will. Once we get to factionless. Oh, yep. It had to be her. But I think I found a solution. 
Ah, oh, you turncoat. I know you wish there was another way. But there isn't. I'm the lesser of two evils, is that it? Yeah. We I shall saw see. how this played out in Hunger Games. Mm -hmm. You better be. What do you want? I would like a position in your regime. Prove your worth to us. Then we can discuss your ambitions. When do I start? Let's talk about your friend, Tris Pryor. Simple. The girl's a walking, bleeding heart. You just have to know how to press it. Oh, they're going to make him jump. <laughs> oh, they've all got those devices yeah, on them. So it's like the serum that they had in the first movie. Yeah, but there's but there's no way to get rid of it this time. Yeah. No. no! Oh. Everybody who got hit with one of yeah. those things. Unless you're divergent. It's got to be a way to get that out, but. Yeah. We removed this from the body of the suicide. It's a very sophisticated sim serum injector. How do we get them out? I don't know. Wraps around the nearest major oh. artery. Try to remove them and they kill the host. Or we could do the logical thing and we hand her over. Might buy us some time. Uh, whatever, Aaron Paul wannabe. <laughs> I think it's a good idea, except you'll have to go through me first. Me too. I mean, he does have a point, you know, to yeah, protect but if the she, lines. But... If she does volunteer herself, maybe there's a way she can get in and yeah. infiltrate, you know. Yeah, there makes a point there. The the faction list, nobody from faction list has those yep. things on them. Yeah. It's just the people who are from candor. Mm -hmm. I can't let anyone else die because of me. We figure it out. You know, I'm just one person. I'm not worth it. No, you are worth it. Have I mentioned so far in this movie how handsome he is? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, no, you haven't, but you haven't mentioned about a shirtless scene yet either, though. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get a shirtless scene this sequel. I don't that'll think be a, that's part of that'll it. That'll be a bonus feature for us. I mean, if we get a shirtless scene, it's going to be like a war. The shirt gets torn off accidentally. It's yeah. not going to be a, a purposeful, like, shirtless, you know, like a, like a classic Van Damme. Well, well hey, scene. you know. Did I just speak right at the wrong time? Yeah, you might have. I believe you may have. There you go. I was literally just saying. There's we weren't no going to get our shirtless scene. <laughs> and here we go. But so far, you know. And cut. Yeah, well, we pretty <laughs> much knew it. It's, that was a pretty half-ass shirtless scene. Freaking guys. <laughs> <laughs> Christina's going to see her, though. So. Oh, mom sees her leaving. So is that cube? Is that like their constitution or something? Must be. She's like she keeps saying like she wants to have information from the founders themselves. I'm wondering if that's like their constitution. Just left. She's gone. What? When? Oh, oh come on. Tobias. I don't think you really had to cock it right there in front of mom, but it looked cool. <sighs> Wow. Of course. What are Look you wearing? I didn't think that you were dumb enough to actually come down here. Let's go. What is this? It's the only reason why you're alive, Tris. I need you to open up that box, Tris. But the only people that have tried to do it so far have died. Chances of it being you, of all people. Yeah, of course. She's going to stand behind the glass. Mm hmm remarkable as amount of people you've managed to murder and the condors know times call for or candors measures. oh boy uh, here we go justifying everything step up on the disc please why don't she just pushes him right on the disc well she knows <laughs> that Ooh, she knows Broke. they're not gonna take her out they need her and she Stop doesn't care about door. him i swear i will shoot him you can kill him if you want we have plenty of guards <laughs> Very bulletproof, but yeah. where did they ricochet off to? 
guessing you need to be alive for this to work. Right! Didn't count on that, did you? Yeah. Oh, a little curveball thrown your way, huh? Beatrice? Oh, I was just saying, where's Caleb? What did you do? Don't engage the subject. Uh, just can you, how about get somebody else to betray her? Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Is there anybody left? You know, I, I've said on multiple occasions that the mom in the notebook is the worst movie character alive. This guy, Caleb, yeah. he might be the worst. <laughs> he is the worst. He's ranking up there. Good luck. Just going to let that happen to his sister. Yep. Well, he went and signed up for it. Look at him. Look at him. Uh, You're the worst. Oh, very Ooh. Matrix like. Let's begin. I wonder which one she's going to have the most trouble with. Uh, now she's going to have to remember, too, she has to think like that faction when she when solving whatever. Yep. Yeah, because she's got to pass the Sims. Mm -hmm. She can't just tap her way out. Mm -hmm. She can't just sit there and go, I know it's a... I know it's a... We got a couple of chargers pulling that thing. <laughs> Supercharged. <laughs> Turbo. There's not even any balloons on it. <laughs> Keep her in play. Oh, no fear. Oh, just. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> a little jungle hunt action here. <laughs> oh, is she gonna go pull oh. the old Bruce Willis? <laughs> Yeah, that's a little bit more than Bruce Willis yeah. right there. A little bit. Jeez. All right, we got one down. One down. Four to go. I miss you so much. I know you do. But I'm still with you. This isn't part of the sim. Not supposed to be, at least, is it? I'm really, really scared. I never wanted any of this. Candor, sim complete. <laughs> Oh, oh, that was honesty. one right there. Yeah, yeah. honesty. This is Sam or not so much? All, although, no, I'm confused. Stop. I'm go. What's yep. a stiff or is a stiff? It's got to be a sim. Oh, I, I, it's getting me every time. I don't, I don't, I don't know if this is a sim or part of it. <laughs> yeah, but which one would well, this they, be then? So they let, they let uh, Peter live, but these guys scary taking them all left skills. and right. You know me, scary boyfriend oh. skills. She never said that. She about never him. said that. To she him. never said it in front of him. Nope. It's still a simulation. Yep. You weren't there. Just we need to leave now, right? I'm sorry I didn't tell you that I was gonna go. You're not in the sim. You are the sim. Oh, that's crazy. Well, there is that like well, matrix safe. Yeah, thing but what test is this though? Erudite sim complete. She hasn't passed abnegation yet. Yes, she has. When she spared your life. She's tested positive for four factions in one day. We've got a problem. Oh, like you're going to do anything about it. Go home. There, KLB. Sure you're not letting familial attachment cloud your judgment? See for yourself. Detach the subject. Good work, everyone. We'll resume tomorrow. Yeah, good work, everyone. You all, you all did a lot. Yeah, you all did a <laughs> great job of standing there doing well, jack she's, shit. She's big on positive reinforcement, apparently. Even oh, maybe that. Going. 
Now he realizes, oh, I yeah. see what's going on here. Yep. He realizes that even she after all the sketchy it. shit he pulled, she still went to taking mm -hmm. him out. Yep. And now he's having second thoughts. Yep. So what if the 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 the, the piece of crap brother isn't the one who has a come to Jesus moment? It's Peter. What if Peter turns back around? Yep. Oh. Why are you there? To do what I felt was right. Your parents would be ashamed of you. You are living proof that the divergent problem has grown beyond all control. She killed our parents. Our parents brought that on themselves. This guy. What is wrong Whoa. with this kid? They were the ones hiding it. All those lives could have been spared. All right, family reunion's over. It's time to go. Nice. Oh, God. This, 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 I shouldn't be letting a movie bother me this much. It was perfect casting in the brother. They got the perfect guy. They got him. Please just let four go. You should focus on the task at hand, such as the fact that your cherished mother, don't who you so dauntlessly saved in the sim, is the reason you're in this mess to begin with. You're the reason I'm in this mess. Her beloved divergent Triss is going to be the one to deliver it to. Well, not if you keep pissing her off. Just like your boyfriend's death will mean absolutely nothing. This oh, that's part, part of the, of the sim. sim. Yeah. She's failing the sim. Yep. Oh, no. She failed the failed sim. It. Hit her with the spear. But she was always really good at knowing what was real and what wasn't, so maybe she can bend the rules. Ooh. Just destroying everything. No. Did she fail on purpose? Bring her back! Bring her back! Seven is no longer viable. We'll just have to resume our search. She was a hundred percent divergent. Like you're not gonna find anybody better than that. Man, Peter's, he's up to something. He's got to be. Hey, Four, maybe do that thing you do? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right! Uh, I knew uh, it! That a boy, Pete. God damn it. <laughs> And I told these guys I was pretty smart. I guess they should listen. Oh, in the back. I knew yeah, something that's, was yeah, going on. Yeah, when he did that, that's I was wondering what. Yeah, I, th I thought that was just to calm her down or something. <sighs> it's a rescue mission. <laughs> oh, okay. Guys, come on. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. Yeah, whatever. Now we're even stiff. <laughs> even, because he. Even. Yep. All right. Yeah. The box. We have to get the box. Are you kidding me? Now's not the time for a souvenir, Tris. <laughs> <laughs> We have to get it. Peter, is there another way into the lab? I mean, I'd have to go into the control room to disable all the doors. Okay, good, then do that. <laughs> okay, good, then do that. Okay, right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get one of those. <laughs> Oh, the old line. Lariato. Access All right, let's go. <laughs> nice. There you go. What's going on? What's going on? What is it? Ooh. Every last one. Oh, they got them all out. Oh, nice. That's that oh, what was holding. Time. That's yep. what was holding them back. Yep. I have to open it for, and I think I know. I know it doesn't make any sense, but you have to trust me. With my life, apparently. Do it now. <laughs> Do it. Hey, he was just showing off there. Yeah, he could have easily just walked in. No, I'm gonna do a barrel roll. 
Back again, are we? Say whatever you want to me, Janine. I'm not gonna fight you. You're gonna fight her. The one you really hate. Herself. No. Yep. Yep. Well, if this isn't a turn. Intriguing. Oh, oh, right through the floor. Oh, oh the old jaws of life. No, don't do that. No, she just said it enough. Yeah. This world would be better off without you. You're wrong. Forgive yourself. Oh, oh, we got tagged. Oh, it's going to open right in front of everybody. Yep. Now let's see what this thing is. Oh, here we go. Let's find out what it is. They better not kick this off to the next one. To be concluded. No! Oh, could you imagine if they pulled that? I come from outside the wall. We designed your city as an experiment. <gasps> what? And we created factions to ensure peace. We believe there will be those among you who will transcend these factions. These will be the divergent. They're the good ones. They are the true purpose of this experiment. Yeah, suck it, Caleb. Proof that our experiment has succeeded. And we join us. Mankind waits for you with hope beyond the wall. Oh, the whole thing's a big experiment. experiment? What? They're what all, kind of? <laughs> they're all waiting outside the wall. shell is this? <laughs> what? Yeah, so you're not so that powerful after all, are you? See you later, Kate. I guess we're all friends now? Uh, oh, what, what you... happens now? You were wrong about us. We were never the problem. We're the solution. Here are the box. What? No one sees it. No! There's our crew. Just in time. Oh. It's because Janine doesn't care about the world outside. She yep. just wants to rule her little yep. city. Rule this world, her own little fiefdom. Oh, Janine. Evelyn, do you honestly think the other factions will stand for this? Because you're so popular? <laughs> <laughs> Get her out of here. I'm going to put it on every monitor in the city. You created factions to ensure peace. You would join your isolation and rejoin us. The experiment ends once the divergent opens it. Yeah, and that's what it was. Yep. The 100% divergent opened yep. it. Mankind waits for you beyond the wall. Yeah, but some of them are going to uh, be, you think some of them might be like scared and yeah. maybe not want to do it? But beyond the wall, they have ice cream. <laughs> uh, why the third are, movie, something's not sitting right with me. And why are they so vital? Because you're the one. Everything. You ready? Push out through the walls. Yep. It's no longer the end of the train line anymore. No, yep. I'm not sold yet. You see, you think there might be another baddie? Uh, like maybe they wanted to find the divergent for some oh, other I purpose. Have a, I have a theory. Yeah, right, we'll save that. Look at you now. Look no at you. No more fancy clothes. Just look at you. Who knows what's out there? You'll never find out. Whoa! Oh. What? Wow! That is an ender. Holy cow! That Whoa. was number Wee. two. Wow! What? Of Divergent. Holy cow, what a, guys! Whoa. What an ender! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I whoa. mean, it, we had two huge twists at the end. <laughs> uh, I had to remember. Uh, guys, again, first off, thank you to everybody out there who recommended that we do this series. I, I don't know what people are talking about when they said the second one is bad or it starts to become a letdown. I thought this was awesome. Uh, maybe the, maybe the, the last one 
is just a stage five stinker, but and that's... you associate the second one with tying into the last one? I don't know. I, I don't know, but first off, guys, what a story. You know, the uh, the huge twists at the end obviously got us. We Kate Winslet got deleted at the end there, did not see that coming. So does that mean that Four's mom has some ulterior motive? And, you know, yeah. at first I was kind of buying in when they when they sent the message about, you know, this was all an experiment. We wanted to see, you know, prove yourself, whatever. The divergence are the answer. But then, you know, towards the end there, I was kind of maybe picking up a little bit what, what Oak was kind of thinking, like, wait a minute, what if the whole purpose was for 200 years they had to wait until they got a divergent for some other nefarious purpose so now i'm starting to feel a little like a little uneasy about the whole thing but in total mind blowing that the whole thing was an experiment for 200 years um once again i thought the musical score was excellent the stunts were great the actors delivered Kate Winslet being the ultimate villain. I'm sad we lo lost uh, uh, Jai Courtney, but uh, he'll he'll show up in some other movie, I'm sure. Yeah, the boomerang. Know, Peter had the big turnaround at the end. Caleb is a spineless jellyfish. I oh, mean, what more yeah, can you say job. about this movie other than it just delivered on so many levels? And the twists at the end, I haven't. I mean, a final credit scene like that, the way they went <laughs> into the finish where she just said you won't see it and then cut to black that Boom. was that was something else guys i she didn't look away either no she did not i i enjoyed this one uh, this is a step up from the first one for me i really enjoyed it 4.25 out of five answers for me on uh on the second divergent wow i i can't wait to hear what you guys had to say uh first off <laughs> I didn't even uh, looking at the cast list now. I didn't know that was Naomi Watts, Zevlin. I because uh, she always has blonde hair, so like I didn't even realize that. Was yeah. Her. Wow. But obviously the cast once again did a great job. I'm I'm ha <laughs> ah Miles, you ass. I want I want to like him, and then he's he's a bad guy like for seventy percent of the movie, and then he comes through clutch in the end. Yep. Caleb, I'm I'm cheering for him to like t just change his fucking mind, and he doesn't. But I, I liked it. I thought it was really good. Um, I kind of like, still like the first one a little bit more just because I love the whole how she came to being mm, a divergent and everything story. like that and the origin and everything like that where she had to, where she displayed every little characteristic of the, of the factions were granted this one. She then put them fully on display. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not saying. Bad. Actually, I did put this a little bit higher score. What am I saying? I don't know. But I still really liked it. I thought it was great storytelling. Um, they did a good job. This cast crushed it. Shailene, especially when she had the truth serum in her that she had to, had to just uh, sit there and tell Zoe that she killed Will. And that, that had to be crushing for her. I mean, and she did a great yeah. job displaying it. So for me, actually, I went, yeah, 0. .05 better. With a 4.2 out of five answers instead of a 4.15. So yeah, it's slightly right. one higher. Uh, I thought this movie was great. I'm, I'm on the same page as Mason Quinn where I don't like, and I, I, we saw some of the comments like, oh, the second and the third one aren't as good. Yeah. And the only thing I can think at this point is that the conclusion, like people who loved the first one, and the second one's good. And, and, and if the conclusion's just a complete stinker, people are going to be like, well, I only like the first one. Yeah. You know, because the second yeah. one's kind of the middle, like by, the bridge. by default, uh, you know, if it doesn't end the way you want, then then yeah, people like, don't love it. Like but Jaws I thought this two movie was. Three. I thought. Exactly. Just like, <laughs> just like Jaws. <laughs> just like the shark that chased the family up and down the uh, the coast. Well, 3D is the. Is, that's the three. <laughs> right. Sorry. Um, anyhow, uh, I thought this movie was phenomenal. Um, it it was cool that it picked up like the day after. Yeah, yeah. You know, so many movies do time jumps and stuff like that. And even though the movie came out a year later, I liked. I thought that was really neat that they just did. This is just a continuation right after. Yeah, I wasn't um, sure right away if, if there yeah, was a time. We basically, all, just we like back to the, basically just like Back to the Future. One, two, go. and three happened like. 
boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, concurrently. So that was awesome. Um, I found it very interesting that in the first movie, the the factionless, for lack of a better term, were like the you know the, the the bottom of society, right? Oh, they don't fit in anywhere, and so you know they made them look like they're all homeless and stuff like that. And yeah. we found out that until you see them, yeah, we found out that the factionless <laughs> have their own society, they have their own leaders, they Skills. have their own army, they have their own way of gaining supplies, and it's like everybody just thinks that the factionless, like oh poor factionless. Well, no, they're they were kind of the ones. And I think that's part of the story is the factionless kind of seemed like the ones who were living free, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like every every other faction is like, you're this, you're this, you're this, you're this. And the factionless are kind of like, they're doing their own thing. And I thought that was a really powerful point mm-hmm. um, that this, you know, you're, you're nobody because you don't fit in. Well, actually, they're the ones living their life. Um, <clears throat> I did like that, um, that the, the faction they went with, with the farmers, you would think like they would turn them in right away, like right away. We're going to turn these people in, but they stay true to what their their faction either, like either core, or their whatever. faction core values were, which I th- thought was interesting because it just goes to show like how you know dedicated or how committed people are to the values of the individual faction. Um, <clears throat> you know, and then the movie progresses. We find out that you know candor. Um, you know, they're exactly who they say they are and they're not necessarily, um, you know, they're not necessarily under the control of, um, you know, of, of Janine and, and, uh, and the er erudites, um, I hope I said that right, but you really start to understand that all these factions have their own, um, you know their 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 own like set of values that they stick by yep that they're they're not they're not giving in to the government they're not giving into power they're really sticking to their guns which i thought was really important um i can't stand um caleb i think he's one of the worst characters in uh in movie hansel you know he's not worse than rudy no don't, you know what? We're not going to go there. Um, anyhow, for you. No. but um, I really liked um, Peter's turnaround. Um, I was hoping there would be a turnaround, you know, like legitimately mm-hmm. when he, look, when he gave them up in the barn, he was legitimately giving them yeah. up. And I don't think it was until he saw that um, that Triss was going to essentially forgive him that that hit him pretty hard. Like he sold them out. And even after everything she was going to let him live That's his life and that that you know that had a big impact on him because then he turned right around and and kind of put it all on the line for her now this ending <laughs> janine brought a, a very good point before she was deleted that it's been 200 years yeah. since this message was recorded yep. so the message is recorded 200 years ago saying Oh, you know, we're, you're ready to come join the world. Well, look what can happen in 200 years, uh, especially 200 years um, when technology is already available. And what I mean by that, if you look at the advancement from, you know, 16, the 1600 to 1800 versus the advancements from 1800 to the year 2000. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's exponential. Yeah, it's, it's exponential technological growth. Um, and so who knows what's going on in the outside world now this is just my take and I haven't read any spoilers I haven't done anything I think and it could be way wrong I think this is another experiment what I think this is is it a test to all the factions to see if they will go outside the wall in uh, in hopes of finding freedom or a better world or if they're still that now they have a choice, right? Yep. Before, these are your factions, uh, security over freedom, right? Yeah. Well, now they're going to be given a choice. You can go outside the wall, but it's safe here in your city. Yeah. But you got your the, factions. The unknown. There's the unknown freedom versus the factions, and I'm wondering if this isn't another test. Will people? Just stick with what is familiar, stick with what's a sure thing, stick with safety and security, or will they go out 
and explore. Now we saw the scene at the end with all the people walking out to the wall, but that couldn't have been everybody in the city. So I'm wondering if this isn't just one big experiment to see how many people are going to be like, whoa, wait a minute. Like, because that's the common sense. This message is 200 years old. Yeah. We don't know what's out there. Yeah. Now, the one kid said, hey, there's, there's, you know, I see lights and stuff like that. Yeah. That doesn't mean mm -hmm. anything. Because, it, look, at the end of the day, before, you know, the bad stuff started happening, it did seem as if things were relatively peaceful there. Mm -hmm. Okay? So yeah, that's the everybody thing. had their own, the 200 years of peace. Yeah. yeah. Uh, everybody had their own place. They fit in. Uh, people seemed relatively happy. They had 200 years of peace. And now are these people gonna go outside and find like all this crazy stuff going on and be like, man, we should have stayed where stayed, yeah. we should have stayed where we were at. So was it like this story of like people value security over freedom, or is it a story of like some people have it really good and you're just you always want yeah. more, you want more? Um you know, the the lesson of the divergent I thought was interesting. And I, I know I had mentioned it. I don't know if it, um, um, I have to look back. I'm not 100% sure if it made the original cut. But when we were watching the first movie, and I think we all kind of touched base on this, saying that, why can't people be all of them? You know, yeah, you, can't, yeah. you can't be kind. You can't be honest. You can't be intelligent. It was like, yeah. so the, the your, your, your Aphrodite, your Aphrodites are intelligent. But the, the, the candors are kind the most or honest. honest? Yeah. Like, how are these no. mutually exclusive, uh, yeah. you know, personality traits or, or qualities? And, you know, at the end, they're like, you're you know, the best of all these things. I'm like, plenty of people can be smart yeah. and kind yeah. and honest. I mean, I they're think not... it was just those were the factions they needed for their society to run. Yeah. And it's right. interesting you bring that up because it isn't like we've seen a lot of movies where their society is collapsing and everything is failing. Like, the only thing that was wrong was Janine. Everything's pretty much fine. Where yeah, they I mean, and it didn't so seem like the there choice. was a lot of complaints. Now, when we watched something like The Hunger Games, there was definitely, you know, people outside the Capitol didn't yeah. like what was going on. Right. And there was clearly yep. oppression going on. Now, it seemed as if, you know... I think the faction list could have been them. Could have been yeah, the could, ones you that... You could say that the faction That's why, list. That's yeah. why they're they, building up Well, weaponry. they were building an army, and they did want to go to war. So yeah, that's a very good that's point. True. The faction list did want to go to war. And again, the faction list, as far as I'm concerned, were the ones that actually had the freedom. Yep. But again, I'm really, I'm like really, really excited to see the, herd, the third one, rather. And uh, I hope... It's a good movie, but I'm so curious now, like what direction they're going to go with yeah. this. And um, I thought this was great. And and for a for a movie to like provoke this much like thought, I think that's big time. Yep. Like, okay, is it is it this? Is it that? Is it that? Is it this? And I think they did a great job with that, as you guys had mentioned, which I'll just you know brush over very quickly. The acting was 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 really good, and you know they had some some heavy hitters. They had some you know. Fresh ish faces. Yeah. But the acting was really good. So I, I thought this movie was I thought this movie was great. I'm gonna give it a higher score than the first one and and match Mason Quinn. Um, I'm giving this a really solid. Oh, so the last movie I give the highest. So I give the lowest. I give a really solid 4.25. Yeah. And I, guys, I gotta go against the grain with the people in the comments who said mm -hmm. that the first one was the best. I thought this one yep. was better than the first one. Now it might be because like this one, they dove deeper into like the lessons and what was going yeah, on and the, the first story. one like answer brought up like he really loved the origin yeah. story mm -hmm. and liked it for that i liked it for a little bit different reasons 4.25 and i am like really hoping i love the last one now the I last really hoping we want, you know we brought four shirtless we, scene in the third one Look, if there's three movies, we got to get three shirts. You got to have the three peat with the shirtless. Uh, you know, it's look. I, I have I have fun with it. Like every movie, regardless of whether it's a, a drama or an action movie or whatever, when you have a very handsome lead role who like is clearly you know, James, very, yeah. is yeah. clearly you. very you know well built with a shirt and a jacket on. It's like, and there's some sort of romantic interest. You know you're gonna get your like your your typical like shirtless scene, and so 
Um, I, th I thought it was uh, kind of a, just a, f a fun little tidbit that they threw in there. I thought I'd have some uh, uh, some jokes with it. But uh, again, a, a, a great movie. Really excited about the third one. And I'm hoping that, uh, that everybody, at least I think the people were wrong who say it's not as good. Because, yeah. man, what a, what a really ride. solid first two films. Mm -hmm. Been an awesome ride. Well, hopefully it delivers just as you delivered with us with this series. So once again, there's Appleton Oak who's hoping for another shirtless scene. And Mason Quinn who wants to see I don't know what for the next one because Kate Winslet is gone. And, and then uh, Jai <laughs> Courtney's gone. We're all my villains yeah, now. He does, he's he's Caleb? gonna find he's gonna find someone new to <laughs> give the comeuppance to. And then I am of course oh. the answer. Good night, pals. Hold Caleb, on to that thought. What if Caleb becomes the big baddie? Brother versus sister. Dude. <laughs>